My name is Mr. Skosana. My name is Mr. Skosana from CN Matlamo. Today I will be teaching Math N5 for Ngangala, all five campuses. Uh, the topic will be integration. I will be doing integration. Uh, today we are going to integrate uh, by means of substitution. We are going to integrate by means of substitution. This is Maths, maths N5 by the way. Maths N5, we are going to integrate by means of substitution. In other words, we will be given an integral of something whereby we are going to use substitution. In other words, we are going to let something equal to u. We are going to let something equal to u. The intention of letting something equal to u, we want to cancel something. Something must cancel something. For instance, let's say you are given this. 1 over x lin this dx. This thing is not possible to integrate this. So the easiest method that we can use is by means of substitution. In other words, one of these two terms, either this one or that one, must be equal to u. We are going to let one of these two terms equal to u. So, you let something, one of these equal to u, then you differentiate. Don't forget, always you let something equal to u, then you differentiate. The reason why you let something equal to u, one of these two terms equal to u, you want the differentiation to cancel the other. So let's check. If you say u is equal to lin x, if you let u equal to lin x, u is this one. Because if you differentiate this one, it's going to be 1 over x. So at some point, x is going to cancel this one. So as I've said, you let this equal to u, then you differentiate. Always, the differentiation of lin x is this. After differentiation, always make the x subject of the formula. Make the x subject of the formula. You cross multiply. You make this one subject of the formula, always. Therefore, it's going to be 1 over x. What is this? This thing we said is u. So it's going to be u squared, because there's a squared here. So, what about dx? dx is equal to this. So when the dx, you put this. Therefore, this will cancel that. Therefore, you rewrite this one. Du. Then you integrate now. We are, we are given this thing in terms of u now. You integrate, it's going to be this, negative 1, over negative 1, plus c. We know always after integrating, you must add c. So here I just added 1, it's going to be negative 1, divided by negative 1. So it's going to be negative, negative 1 over u plus c. If you rewrite this one, if you rewrite this one, it's going to be negative 1 over u. Therefore, it's negative 1 over, what is u? We said u is in x u is lin x plus c. The integral of this is that by means of substitution. Let's take the next one. Maybe I'll give it um, x squared not x squared 2x over x squared plus 5 dx. We are given that. 
So now, you check which one will cancel the other. Obviously, if you look at this one, the denominator, the differentiation of the denominator is going to give you this one. So for that reason, our u is going to be x squared plus 5. Then you differentiate this. du over to x is equal to 2x. As I've said in the beginning of our lesson, I said always make the x subject of the formula. How? You cross multiply. dx is equal to du over 2x. Therefore, is 2x, this one you said it's u. This one is u. What is dx? dx is this. So when there is dx, you put du over 2x, then this will cancel that. We are left with what now? 1 over u du. What is the integral of this one? It's lin u plus c. Lin. Then you substitute. What is u? u is this. What there is u? You put x squared plus 5 plus c. This technique is very simple. It's very simple. Look at this one. We have given cut. Cut. It's not visible. We are given cut x cos squared x. Look at that one. So here you check which one is the differentiation of the other. For example, if you look at this one, if you differentiate this one, what is inside the square root? Cut. Its differentiation is this one. In other words, if you say u is equal to cut, then you differentiate cot, we are going to get negative cos x squared. At some point, negative cos x squared is going to cancel this one. So, therefore, u is equal to cot x. Take what is inside the square root. If this thing was inside the bracket, take what is inside the bracket. Just turn a blind eye on this square root. Take what is inside the bracket. Take what is inside the square root. So now we differentiate this as I've indicated. du, the x is equal to negative cos x squared x. I said always make the x side of the formula. Therefore, the x is equal to negative du over this. The differentiation of cos is this one. It is there on the formula sheet. Therefore, it's u, cot is u, this, this square root, the same as this half. Then you keep the other term, then where there is the x? Yeah, I forgot to put the x. Where there is the x, you put this one, du cos squared x. So this will cancel that one. So now our expression it's simple now, it makes sense. It's, we are given in terms of u now. So it's this negative, let's factor out this negative for argument z. Is this power half the u? So now it's negative. Now we integrate this one now. We just add one. It's going to be u to power 3 over 2. Yeah, then you divide by 3 over 2. At some point, that right, 3 over 2, we need to. Inverting it now is going to be 2 over 3 plus c. Therefore, it's negative 2 over 3. The square root of u is plus c. Then your final answer is going to be negative 2 over 3 square root of what is u? U is cot. Cot x because there's a cube is this one. It's here. Then plus c. I can do as many as I can. 
using this technique integration by means of substitution this thing they are the same all of them as long as you apply this one it's very easy to get your answer even during exam 50% or 40% of the questions for integration you are using substitution but remember during exam they are not going to tell you that you must use substitution you must just look at your expression and check which one will be the differentiation of the other so that its so that its differentiation will cancel the other i hope you have understand and it was a nice lesson it was a nice lesson for today and that i think we will continue with this uh, topic tomorrow if you come we'll continue this topic tomorrow do the same thing or you will do the exercises if you've got the problem you know where to find me either you send this via email send your problems via email or you text and so on use any means of electronic what what so yeah today is okay see you tomorrow thank you